Hey guys, I wanted to share with you a problem and a solution for this set. Now what you're seeing here is the cargo depot from the Lego City cargo train from a few years ago. On a side note, if you've been looking for a cargo train, I highly recommend it. It's a great set. The new one coming up looks good, but I think this is better. The train looks better, and I think this cargo depot is a rock star. It's something everyone should have in their city if they have any interest in trains. Now, it's not perfect, and that's what I want to talk about. What you're seeing here is a very busy little setup. So this is the way the set comes naturally. Everything is put into this 16 by 32 strip here. Uh, with good reason, Lego's had to make sure it all fits in the box, you can build it all, it's all attached up properly. But all you can see is this there's not a lot of space there. It's it's very cramped. This forklift truck can't get to that last bit of the carriage to unload that last pallet. Uh, there's not a lot of room to maneuver. It just feels very, very tight. Uh, we've got poor little Fred, the cargo worker here, who's gonna get hit by the forklift truck at some point if he's not very careful. So we need to do something about that. And, and then there's access to the set. Now, I've been slightly dramatic here, but I've lined this road piece up here to match here, which, as you can see, gives you half a road piece, which isn't ideal in the first place. You can come in from this side with this, but it doesn't feel right because of the amount of space you have here. It just is wrong and tight, um, which leaves this coming in from this side. Now we've got the problem that, it, you know, it's gotta be in a position that the forklift truck can actually load up. So, you know, naturally that's here. Now we've opened up a whole new can of worms in that this train's gonna go and smash into that lorry. Let's hope we don't have the fuel canister on there. We're gonna have a big fireball of an explosion in our Lego city. Firemen are gonna have to be called. It's just gonna be a mess. Now, <clears throat> Lars Eriksson, I believe his name is, I apologize if I said that wrong, has an idea in his set, uh, in his city, that um, I really like the idea of. So I've borrowed his idea and, and put my own little twist on it to improve it, but I think it makes this set a lot better, and I'm gonna share that with you right now. So, as you can see, to address that problem, what I've done is I've started by turning these three columns around the other way, so they're facing out, which has allowed me to put the security office on the outside of the set. Now, I've put it on this T-junction because that works well with my city, but you can do it however you want. I think in doing this, what's happened is everything feels like it fits the set much more naturally rather than being shoehorned onto it. The whole thing feels a lot more integrated into the city by having it coming out this way. The lorry can come and pull up here much more naturally. I've got it on that side purely for the reason that it works well with my city. I don't want to block this junction up. You know, you've got to be practical with your Lego city and make sure there's no traffic jams, as we all know. Um, if you look inside the depot here, I think it's opened up a little bit more now. I've just made a couple of extra changes in here just to move this out this way and also over to this side, as I said, so the lorry's on that side. I've put an extra storage unit on that side. That is temporary before anyone says it. That was the bricks I had. I will do something more like this. Uh, and there's also room for another one here. I reckon I could get another one in there and it still wouldn't feel too cramped. I have actually been looking at the cargo depot set as an addition to my city because I do love this whole practical working stuff. I think it would be a good addition and it would work well with the city this way around. Personally, I think this is a good way of doing it. I really like the cargo depot from the cargo train set. It works well, it looks great. I think in doing this, it improves it even further. So I'd love to know in the comments what you think, if you would agree with this change, if you would do something differently, or if you've got your own version of it, just I'd love to hear about it and see what you've done with it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys.